But you know what? I was so madly in love with him. Like, as a friend on YouTube, yes, I'm a new person because I got this natural hair out. But right now, we're going out to eat, and Michaela has a wig class. And this is Michaela, everybody. Introduce yourself. Period. My so, name is Michaela. Period. Tell Follow me on Instagram. Period. At underscore slave by Kayla. Period. I'm going to crack a barrel, and I'm going to give y'all my honest review because y'all know I don't play like that. I don't play. Open the door. You open the door. I'm going to slow. Who's that? What is going on right here? I think you do want to give me one of these. Let's see what I'm going to get. I don't know. Do it's a little choicy. What's up, YouTube? So, this is like my first review. And yeah, right now I'm just, I say review, <laughs> this is my first voiceover. Right now I'm just deciding what exactly I wanted to eat because I'm in Crackerboro. Like, I really don't want to go to Crackerboro, but I had to see what was the options, what was good. My first experience with my daddy, I really didn't like it simply because, oh yeah, yeah. So I picked the French toast and like basically I was saying this is my second time going and the first time I didn't have like a good review because it was ugh. So I was probably talking fast because I was just be talking fast. But today I'm going to get my hair done. I'm going to bust down, bust down 30 inch. When y'all take your up, give them bags. So yeah, I was just, they was like, you want some biscuits? And I was like, yeah, bring me a couple of biscuits. And like the biscuit was good. Like it was so soft, warm. It was just fresh out of like the oven and it was so good. It was so good. Look how my friends were smashing it. Look at Michaela. <laughs> Look at all of <laughs> Period. So right now I'm kind of just putting this syrup on my French toast and my chicken. And let me tell y'all something. The chicken, the chicken was buzzing. Like I don't know who cooked it, who seasoned it, who skinned it, who who killed it, whoever. It was good. Like the chicken was so seasoned. And like the French toast, the French toast was good too. But that chicken. That chicken, oh my god, like I'm trying to tell y'all, that's the best chicken I done ever had. Like, it was so good. And like I was a little, you know, I was trying to give y'all a bad review cracker barrel, cause it's cracker barrel, but I couldn't even I couldn't even say nothing bad right now. But them eggs, them eggs that y'all serve me, look at them. I ain't even gonna lie. That bacon. The bacon went all that. Like, it wasn't seasoned, and it was a little thin, but it was, like, you know, chewy and moist. If You know what I'm saying? Like, how, I'm saying, like, how it be moist if it ain't seasoned. You just got to, you know, it just got to have that little unk flavor in it. It ain't got no unk flavor. Now, them eggs, them eggs, oh, my God, them eggs was disgusting. Like, and it had no season. Look at my face. Look at my face. Look at my face. Man. They ain't even put no season in there. Like, I could have told Nala to bring the Tonys from the house. So, I had to add a little salt and pepper in there because it had no season in it. Like, ooh, I dropped the phone. But, look, I had to add that salt and pepper. I might have probably, you know, put too much salt, but it, it needed that. And now, I'm just eating that chicken. Ooh, let me tell y'all, that chicken, oh, my God. Like, look how I'm just manhandling it. And, yes, I'm going to eat all that on top of it. Then, little lady, you sure can eat. Yes, I can. I can eat. I can eat, but yeah, the chicken, oh my God. <laughs> okay, y'all see her little pop-up shop banner, like period. That was the first thing that I saw that like caught my attention when I first came in there. And it was just like, you know, look at it. It was so gorgeous, Michaela need one. And like, how nice of her, the little goodie bags, they had hot combs and all the supplies that you was gonna be using during the class or whatever. Okay, so now we're into the wig class and now Michaela, she's just braiding me up right now. Don't talk about how nappy my hair is because I got more hair than y'all baby have. Period. None of that. Yeah, 
done. So in this clip, she's almost done braiding me down. And now she's swooping my baby hairs back as you're supposed to be. As you should, you're supposed to swoop them baby hairs back because I got some edges. But the edges that I got, I don't want them to be ripped out. And then, like, y'all, I can say this was a good, like, learning method with class because I actually learned a lot, too. Like, I was a hairstylist. Like, this is a clear cap. This ain't no that brown, light brown, none of that. So now she's just, you know, cutting me up, sizing me up or whatever. And now here go the Simone Peaches. She's over here showing Michaela how many, like, layers she's supposed to do. This and the third. She was a good, like, she was a good teacher. She told her exactly what she needed to be done. She told her, like, this what, this was going to get the money. This what ain't going to get the money. Don't, don't do... Don't try to settle your um, prices for somebody when you know somebody is going to pay for it, period. So right now, Michaela is learning the bleaching method of, like, bleaching the knots and stuff. And I can say she was kind of, like, taking a long time trying to get all this stuff out. Like, I ain't, I ain't even think it was that much powder. Look at it. That much powder in that little thing. But, yeah. Or was she just taking her time? I'm just playing, friend. Yeah. But right now, she's just doing it. Keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. So now she's learning how to place the bleach on the knots, on the lace, and not the hair or whatever. She's over here showing you. That's the other client. It was two, like, she had two clients and, like, two people that was learning how to do, like, the wigs and stuff like that, basically, or whatever. And this is the bag that came out of the wait <laughs> this is the bag that the wig came out of and right now she's still showing Michaela like how to place it and stuff right now but now i'm gonna let her talk oh i i had muted it but right now she was just showing us how to pluck this is not my wig this is the other client's wig and she did a real good job explaining it so basically she was saying like when you pluck all you gotta do is um what she say when plucking, you want to never pluck in the middle. So for beginners, I always tell beginners, you see how this weed has no hairline? Mm -hmm. So you want to make the hairline. See, the weed that y'all going to order, they're going to come pre-plucked. They're going to have a hairline. You're just going to have to go behind it and still pluck a little bit. So you want to either part the middle first, because you never want to pluck in the middle. Never. You want to come up on the side, you want to pull the string. You can be rough because it ain't on the head. And then you want to get your edge stick. The best thing. Yeah. And then you want to put just a little bit, not everywhere on the hair. So while she was teaching them that, it was my turn for her to wash out the bleach and the powder and stuff like that. And she's going in with the purple shampoo and that purple bottle right there, a clear bottle with purple in it and stuff like that. So now it's Michaela's turn for her to learn the method of plucking, stuff like that. Look at her, she's going with the got to be spray, whatever it is. She's going in with the hot comb. She's doing everything that was taught as she should. And yeah, y'all finna see real hands-on and how dedicated she is about her work. Because some of y'all, some of y'all won't go in with it. Some of y'all won't go in and pay $600 for a wig class. So now she's just showing me. She's just talking to me. She's so beautiful and so goofy or whatever. And now here she go, placing it on my head. Yeah, the wig cap, it was kind of big because it's 13 by 6. It have a small head. So now she's just going in and teaching Michaela like how you need to cut from the earlobe. You need to cut all the extra lace off from your ear or whatever. So now she's just teaching her how to cut it. And now she's going in with the hold me down glue. Because period. Hold me down is right there in the back. But she's doing, she's about to do like three to four layers. Simply because she know I be traveling a lot. And I be playing softball. And I don't need none of that hold me down to come up. Because I'm going to be mad. And here's another clip of her getting the real like this is more where you can see <laughs> she's being gentle but she wasn't being gentle she's she's a little rough but she getting up and let me tell you something karen this is giving scalp 
and it's not even on for real and it's giving scap and now she's just pulling it like the key thing for you to is like pull down and like swoop the hairs up because you want to give like lace wear scap wear you want to give that like no cheap nothing this is not cheap you want to give you want to give billion dollar billion dollar every time and now she got me tied up and let me tell you something that elastic band oh my god it was it was gripping my thoughts but now she's just blowing dry me up and all that good stuff and now she's cutting it into three you always it's easier to cut into three like she said and look at Michaela back there <laughs> right now yeah she's just cutting it up let me tell y'all something she cut that like look how she look at them hands she know what she doing she cut that so like perfect and don't y'all talk about how y'all see the little open flaps she gonna fix that watch that and now she's just showing Michaela how to like cut the baby hairs and stuff like that and she was saying like you need to pick it like don't let it you know how it be thick you don't need that and let me tell you something this hot comb I ain't never got hot comb as a kid and every time she would hot comb me, I would just flinch, but I will try not to. Look at this. Late. And so now, she's just showing her how to, you know, get it flat. And, like, I like this method. Like, the way she was using it, how she was using it, I see why my stuff flat. Like, just watch her. Just watch her. So now it's Michaela's turn. This is her side, and this is her work. And period, she did exact things she was taught and she, she was told. Like, period, don't play with my friend. Don't play with Slave by Kayla. Don't play with her at all. And yeah, the link and all the other stuff is going to be in, in the, like, description and all that. I can't talk. And I'm not it. I'm not reading this because y'all get the raw and uncut. But, yeah, here go that hot comb again. I swear to God, that hot comb. Mm -mm -mm. What did I say? I ain't no telling, but yeah. Yeah, I don't want y'all to be talking about my friend, talking about some, oh, she got the front slate, but what about the back? Well, here's the back, Buki. And she gonna make sure that's slayed by Kayla. Always slayed by Kayla. Look at her. Look at her go. Go, friend, go. Kayla's resonant. Oh, it's giving you no know, scap where's the scap where's the lace scap where and now she's just showing her how to you know use the razor to cut the baby hairs again and that and stuff this is really this is really up close i'm surprised she ain't tell me girl put that phone down because i'll be up and close because i'll be trying to get it she's just busting me down because 30 inch wear like bust me down but yeah she's just using the flat iron that flat iron was real hot but i got some flat some flat irons at the house right now they're gonna get the job done too so i ain't gonna be missing out because it's gonna be always huh still well still well i'm gonna get my ear i'm gonna be hollering like me. so now here's michaela trying to do the um the edges or whatever she's putting the got to be um sprayed and glue on there and stuff like that and like notice how she's like trying not to get a swoop on my eyebrows because you don't want your edges to be swooped on your eyebrows because that's a no-go like no and now she's just adding the phone because the phone is easier to swoop is what she said and you see she's still not swooping on my eyebrows because it's a no-go it's just a no and like i thought this part was pretty cool because i used to always see it on my instagram yeah, but i didn't think i was gonna be that girl but this is the finished product, and please don't play with my friend. Oh, yeah, that's me. And now look at this. She made this little reel, and it's so cute. Like, look at me. I'm giving natural. I'm giving, uh, what am, what am I giving? Just everything. I just can't even think of the top of my head. And my friend got this little certificate, and I, I was calling him Austin, but it's not his name. Period, 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 Austin. <laughs> Oh, not my hmm. What you mean? I thought I heard you. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? So right now I'm just gonna close out the video and you know show you show you guys a couple more hair clips or two.
but I gotta work on closing out the video. So this is what I'm doing. I'm closing out the video, but I also wanna, you know, <laughs> yeah. But I also wanna, you know, review the wig. I got this off Amazon and the brand is Cutie with a booty. I'm just playing Cutie. It's, uh, it's actually called Cute Beyond Hair. And the funny story is my old girl for her birthday, she had got this blonde wig and I seen this bag. Cute blonde. I seen this bag and I seen like, I was feeling her hair, it was blonde by the way. So it was different colors, like different, like, you know, this and the third. And when I was feeling it, I was like, yeah, I like this hair. And then when I, when it came upon my Amazon, then of course, I'm gonna get it. 